Hello friends, welcome to a new video. Do you think that you are not smarter, you are not creative as other people, you don't have good memory, you are not successful, you are insecure of your future and on top of all of this you think that you cannot be as smart as other people, you cannot improve. Well, today I am going to show you that you are wrong, you can be better, you can be smarter. We humans can become smarter by hacking our minds. In this video, I am going to share the summary of Smarter Tomorrow and I am going to teach you how you can hack your mind to become better at your executive functioning, emotional self-regulation, learning, memory and creativity. If these terms seem or sound alien to you, don't worry because later in the video, I am going to explain the terms one by one. But before that, let us roll the intro. First of all, let's make something very clear. You can become smarter, it's not fixed. Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Bill Gates and all the other successful people in the world, they are just like you and me. The only difference is they have worked hard to become who they are today. Science shows that 50% of our brain power comes from our genetics, but 50% comes from our experiences and learning. Our brain is like muscle, the more we work on that, the more stronger and better it gets. When we learn a new skill, our brain creates a new chain of neurons and the more we get better at that skill, that chain gets better and stronger. And if you want to hack your brain to become smarter, you have to be ready to understand yourself better and to try and experiment new things in your life. Now throw the mindset of not being able to become better out of your mind and let us learn how to become Mark Zuckerberg. Executive Functioning in high school, the author knew a guy whose name was Mark. One day, the author saw Mark starting a discussion about the future of internet. After he started the discussion, he said back he would only engage to ask questions to heat up the discussion or to guide the discussion towards new directions. The author noticed that Mark had the ability to see bigger picture very quickly. He could hold to many information at the same time and he had the ability to connect all these informations together. This guy was the person as we know him today as Mark Zuckerberg. He had a skill called executive functioning. Executive functioning is the skill that allows us to think, plan, focus our attention, prioritize our tasks and set and achieve goals. It is like air traffic control system which manages and controls the arrivals and departures of different airplanes at the same time while managing the runways. Think of executive functioning as the CEO of your brain. It is the main power behind a smart brain. If you want to be smarter, you have to improve this skill in your brain. An executive functioning has three sub-abilities, working memory, inhibition and flexibility. Working memory helps you to hold different information in your mind and manipulate it. It helps you to follow conversation and hold different points at the same time. Inhibition is the ability or the power that helps you to control your automatic reactions. For example, if someone is making you angry, automatically you would just shout at him or scream at him. But this skill can help you to control that automatic reaction. The third one, flexibility, is the flexibility to change and accept new opinions. You can improve your executive functioning skill by improving these three sub-abilities. There are several practices that can help you to improve these sub-abilities. For example, let us see how you can improve your inhibition skill. But before that, you have to test and understand your current level of your inhibition skill. Next, I will be showing you some names of the colors, but they are in different color font. I want you to identify either the meaning of the words or the color of the font. See how many of them you can get right and let me know in the comment below how well did you perform in the test. Now this is how you can improve your innovation skill. Try to wear something that makes you feel organized, something like a coat or a suit. When you wear that coat or suit, say something like this that scientific studies have shown that wearing this suit or coat can improve my 
executive functioning skills. Then go back to this true color and work as we just did and test your ability again. You will be surprised by your performance. This is how we can hack our brain. There are psychological practices and tricks and shortcuts that can help us to become better at a specific skill in our brain. Similarly, there are tricks and shortcuts that can help you improve your emotional self-regulation. Let's learn that in the next part. Imagine you are in a funeral ceremony. You look around, there are all sad faces. Some of the people are crying. The room is filled with an emotional, sad environment. At this point, you remember a completely unrelated, funny memory. You badly want to laugh, but you have to control it. Otherwise, many people in this room would not talk to you in the future. In this situation, there is only one skill that can help you. That is called emotional self-regulation. Emotional self-regulation is a skill that can help us to control our emotions when our emotions could automatically express themselves. This skill plays a critical role in your relationship with your friends, family members, or the people around you. Those who are not good at this skill, people around them try to avoid them because they can't control their emotions. The good news is that we can improve our emotional self-regulation. This is how you can do it. But first, you have to test your best one. First, you have to test what is your current level of your emotional self-regulation skill. To find your best line, recall a sad or funny experience or emotion from your past two days, a week, or a month, and try to rate yourself how good you can control your emotions. If your emotions want you to laugh, how much you can control to stop laughing. If your emotions want you to cry or to get angry, how much you have control over that emotions. Now here is the practice to build this skill up. Think of something that can rise up your emotions. It could be your work deadline, your assignment deadline. It could be the death of your beloved ones. Or it could be the face of the only person on this planet that you had the most. Think of anything that can make you angry. Hold to that memory for around one minute or two. Then after that, try mindful meditation for around 10 minutes. Sit somewhere quiet, close your eyes and breathe. Try to not pass any breath in or out of your nostrils without your permission or without your awareness. Practice these for around 15 minutes every day, you will see a significant improvement in your ability to control your emotions in the future. Now let me share with you how you can improve your learning and memory. Another important skill to become smarter is to become better at our memory and learning. Alex Mullen is an American memory competitor. He is three times winner of World Memory Championship. He memorizes the sequence of a deck of cards in under 17 seconds. That is mind-blowing for someone like you and me who forget what we ate in our last meal. These two skills are extremely important whether we want to learn a new language, a new skill, or just memorize our phone number. Because these skills save you time, bring you confidence. Imagine that you take your car or motorbike to a technician or mechanic. He, while repairing your car or bike, tries to watch a tutorial on YouTube. Would you be confident on his abilities? I bet you will not. These skills will also be very helpful for the future, especially now that we can see a lot of jobs are being taken by robots and machines. And we have to learn new skills and new jobs to be able to survive in the future. Just like other skills, we have the ability to learn these skills and improve them. But before sharing with you how you can improve these skills, like other skills, you have to first test your baseline. What is your current level for this skill now? This is how you can test. Write 20 random words, set timer for one minute, and try to memorize as much of these words as you can during this one minute. And after that, take one minute of break, and then come back again. Set timer for one minute again, and then try to recall as many of these words as you can, and see how many of the words you could recall during this practice. You can improve your memory and learning skills by trying to memorizing new words every day through online flashcard apps or physical ones, or trying to learn new language or a new skill. Whatever you choose, it should be something new and you should be practicing it daily because practice makes us perfect. Alex Mullen was not born with this excellent memory. He practiced it and built to the level that he is today now. If you practice daily, I'm sure you will also be better than your current level. Now let us learn how you can improve your creativity. Creativity is one of the skills that are highly valued in today's everyday job. 
It is also the skill that separates us from robots and machines because they can't be creative. We often think creativity is a genetic thing. We are either born creative or we are not creative. But guess what? We are all wrong. Creativity can be nurtured. I will show you how. But before that, you know what you need to do. Test your best one. You need to find what is your current level of creativity. And here is how you can do that. Think of any common object. Say glasses. Now try to come up with as many uses of these objects as you can. For example, for the glasses, we can use this for eyesight. We can use it for Blu-ray protection. We can use it for wind protection. What else? Please help me out in the comment section. Let me know what are the other uses for the eyeglasses. I can't think of something else for the uses of glasses. It seems that I really need to improve my creativity as well. Then write the number of uses that you came up for that object. For example, in my case, I could only come up with three uses. Now here's how you can improve your creativity. Just like you improved your executive functioning by wearing a coat or suit, try to use a scent or fragrance in your room that you like the most and tell yourself that scientists have found that inhaling these fragments can increase my creativity. Then try to do something creative, for example, writing, reading, painting, decorating, or journaling, etc. These will help you release your creative impulses. Practice this neurohacking technique every day. You will notice you have become better and more creative. Let me be honest with you here. I have not tried any of these neurohacking techniques yet, but I'm very open to give them a try. I'm all about the idea of experimenting. And whatever I have learned in my life, I've learned it through understanding my thinking pattern and experimenting new things and psychological techniques just like the ones that I shared with you now. One of the things that I've learned that is extremely crucial in becoming better and smarter is to never stop learning. Every day try to learn something new, big or small, either through reading, writing, watching or whatever channel. Learn something new every single day. Deal with daily learning as the daily vitamin or protein dose for your brain. I have seen this enormous impact on my life and you can also see this as one of the common habits in all the successful people in human history. Don't stop the video yet. Here are some other helpful videos that I think can help you become smarter and more successful in your life. Watch this to learn how to master a skill. Watch this one to learn how to upgrade your brain by becoming limitless. Here are four tricks to memorize anything fast. And here is the summary of learn like a pro. See you in the next video. Much love and bye.